Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1219, where we have 50 moves to clear out 72 jelly and reach 100,000 points. This is my sixth playthrough. Yes, I've been doing it for a while. And I think the main reason is that I haven't been paying attention to my moves. So right now I have the opportunity to make a color bomb. I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm going to consider my move first. Do I move this yellow to here or this yellow to here? Well, moving this yellow to here positions the blue right here close to its friends. So that's the choice I'm going to make. And I want to contemplate each move as I make it, because 50 moves is a long time, and I don't want to spend another 7 minutes on this board. This column and this column are the particularly difficult areas to reach, because we've got frosting over the two-layer thick jelly. So we want to remove the frosting as best we can. Now notice we've got a conveyor belt to help us when I can't make moves directly against the frosting. Uh, then what I want to do is try to make a move low to the ground to encourage cascading. And hopefully we get a second cascade, as you saw, from the uh, what develops when the conveyor belt slides through. Okay, still looking for these options. Now notice I made a color bomb and I'm just ignoring it. Well, gosh, I would love to pair it with a special. So just holding out a little bit of hope for that. Remember, I have that conveyor belt to help me. So see if I could get an orange to tick through, then I could get that set up. Of course, there's no orange lined up for that mission, but I can change that, right? Look at that. Now I've got a lot of orange over there. And I'm just going to kind of hold out. I know I'm burning a few turns to get there. Just kind of making these micro movements that aren't part of my original goal, which is to take out the frosting. But if I can pair those up, you'll see I'll have a great advantage. And here's even better than a striped combo. Now very precarious situation. I've got a lot of orange there. The other thing is I don't have a lot of orange everywhere else now. So what I want to do is try to increase the orange I have on the board. And this is one way to do it. Take out an additional color. Now if I take out the yellow, this is going to drop and it's going to set everything off. But I think I'll be safe if I take out the blue. I understand I may lose this opportunity. I didn't lose the opportunity. and I think it looks like I've got a lot more orange on the board now. So these are the opportunities I need to be watching for. I don't have to play it six times through like I did if I'm just more aware of the opportunities I have. And I admit there was a little bit of luck in the beginning where I was able to make that color bomb right away. But I tell you what, you can bring in your homemade luck. Just boost her up, baby. Now, yeah, I kind of went for the... Um, the jelly, even though I say we should take out all of the frosting, but I didn't have opportunities to take out the frosting. And the jelly was there, and as I'm waiting for these opportunities to show up, I do want to take out anything that's residual that I can reach. If I can't take out a frosting, and I can't set myself up for a special to help take out frosting, then I need to try to take out the jelly. Okay, here we go. Oh, so much easier when I pay attention to the moves I have. Okay, again, contemplating my moves. Trying to drop everything into position. So there's going to be another blue that shows up through here. And I'm just kind of biding my time there. Gonna make some moves that oh <laughs> I shifted the blow down. I thought I was only gonna shift one down. Yeah, there goes my paying attention. Let's set up a new thing then, right? And these are particularly difficult areas to reach. Okay, so I need to try to get a yellow to sneak through. see no yellow. Oh, there's a yellow. Not able to make any moves on this side. Oh, we need that blue to come back. Oh, here we go here. Now, 
And remember, if you're really struggling with this, not only can you bring in a booster, but at this point in time, uh, you can just attack that with a lolly hammer and be done with it if it's really vexing you. And that's how I beat level 1219 on my sixth try. Hopefully you get it sooner than that. Um, don't forget to booster up, baby, if it's a struggle for you. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.